Dad? It's okay, sweetie. Why didn't I do anything? I don't know. It's like the third time now. Why am I always just standing there? Well, don't make her feel guilty about her dreams, Paul. You don't see me that way, right? That's not how you think I'd react in real life. If I was floating? You remember that time you almost drowned? How fast I reacted. She was four. I remember you telling me about it. Bye. Hannah. Remember, you have to stay home with Sophie tonight. No, that's tomorrow night. No, the play is tonight. It was always tonight. Really? I should keep you alone for like a few hours? I don't mind. You already agreed to this. Okay, fine. Bye. So, should I just meet you there or? Yeah, probably. I'm not sure how long it'll take with Sheila, so. Are you nervous? No, not really. I, I think it'll be good. I think she'll understand, hopefully apologize, and that'll be that. Mm -hmm. Can you record it? Are you serious? Yeah, just the audio on your phone. I want to hear how she reacts. Wow. <laughs> so vindictive, Janet. <laughs> yeah, I'll think about it. What, you should go, you're going to be late? No, I'll be fine. Have a good one. You too. So when talking about adaptive strategies, why does the zebra look the way it does? You can spot it miles away, so it's not very functional, right? Any theory on how the black and white stripes could be a benefit? No one? From what we know, the camouflage isn't effective in terms of blending in with the environment. Rather, it's about blending in with the herd. You see, predators need to identify their prey. They can't just attack the whole group. So if you stick your head out, you make yourself a target. Yeah. Does that make sense? Hi. Hey. Focus. Is this how it went? No, it's different now. Do you want to share your discussion with the class? Sorry, no. Okay, because you just made yourselves a target by speaking when you weren't supposed to. You get the analogy? I get the analogy. Okay, good. So in contrast, can anyone think of instances where sticking out can be an evolutionary benefit. Yes. Uh, mating? Mating. Welcome to Madre. Hi, I have a table for Paul. What? I'm sorry, don't I know you? I don't know, do you? Yeah, I... Well, Osler, maybe? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a professor there. No, no, I didn't go there. Have you been with us lately? No. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> some major deja vu. Or... <laughs> Brian, right? Paul. It's been too long, Sheila. Yeah, I barely recognized you. Wow. Oh, yeah? The beard, maybe. No, it's the whole... You know... <sighs> so how long are you in town for? Just a few days. Visiting my brother. How's everything with you? You're still at Osler, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> You're publishing another paper, I heard. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're, we're just doing final revisions now, so it's it's looking good. Where'd you end up? Which publication? Uh, do you want to, should we look at the menu? Yeah, which publication, though? Uh, Nature. Nature. Yeah, we're happy about that. I mean, it's been a while, so, yeah. Why am I not being credited? What do you mean? Oh, come on. 
Swarm intelligence and colony algorithms? Yeah. Sounds awfully similar to my research now. Well, I... Do you mean from grad school? Yes, you weren't even interested in networks back then. You're all about senescence. Oh, <laughs> yes, I, I mean, I've expanded my interests over the last 30 years. Are you using intelligence? You know I coined that, right? I'm not using intelligence. Look, there's a big difference between talking about an idea and actually doing all the work. No, no, I've been working. I've got a book. Uh, do you have a publisher? Well, I, I want to finish it before I take it out. I don't want to be influenced by any sort of corporate agenda. Can I read a draft or? Oh, why? You need more material? Oh, come on, Paul. Let's be adults here. How far along are you? Well, I haven't really started the actual sitting down and writing portion of it yet, but I'm kind of... So this kind of ruins everything for me, Sheila. Your past paper is just a complete appropriation. I mean, kind of... Can you at least just credit me? There's nothing wrong with just being a professor, Paul. You don't need to be a researcher, too. 